There are lots of great collaborations happening on the Suncoast food scene, and we can learn all about it in the new issue of Edible Sarasota. Our guest host, Tracy Freeman, is the editor of Edible Sarasota. Tracy, what are some of this coming issue's highlights? This is a good one. This, oh, this might be one of my favorites. Oh, this We've got time to sit and read in the summertime. <laughs> we do, and you know, I, I'm hands-on, but I've never been so hands-on like I was with this issue. Oh. I've been out in the Gulf of Mexico three times for this issue. Wow. Really? Um, probably the best part was going out and dropping 30,000 clams into the Gulf of Mexico. What? Yes. Why did you do, why did you I do that? I was so sore. <laughs> <laughs> dropping what, them what in? What does this do? What is the purpose? The purpose of this is with the Sarasota Baywatch program, and these clams filter the water. They actually eat red tide. Oh. Um, it, it's amazing. So scallops was the big thing. It was a scallop palooza. Yeah, that's us dropping the clams. Wow. Nice, nice outfit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we matched. Thirty thousand. Yeah, clams. thirty thousand clams came off this truck, and we went out onto a barge into the middle of the Gulf of Mexico and dropped them with Moat Marine scientists, and they were scuba diving and making sure they were all planted in the right place. And uh, it, it was, it's amazing. The, the program is so exceptional. They'll be doing about eight more clam drops um, throughout the, the year. And um, is there a, so oh, there's a the shortage? Water. Is that what's happening? Um, it's not. Well, yes, there's definitely a shortage of clams, um, but it's the Gulf. The Gulf really needs to so be cleaned cleaning, up. You're really oh. cleaning the Gulf by doing this. Right. But then restoring the clam population at the so same time. So we're going to eat these someday? Isn't that funny? It's that discussion. You might find it on a restaurant menu, but it's not the purpose. It's the discussion of the whole ecosystem of, you know, it, it'll take care of itself Taking if it has the, the proper, life. We get the proper our, cycle. Get the way, yeah. And we've seen red tide. So this is one of the, the big highlights of this issue is about this program. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's probably our cover story. Oh, wow. But we're also drinking and eating ice cream wow. and uh, cooking fish from head to tail. I mean, we're, we've got it all. Um, but yeah, the cocktails are kind of exciting too. <laughs> We've uh, paired with uh, crop, you know, oh, the, the yes, juice crop bar, juice. and Spence from Cocktails by Spence. So you've got your um, healthy cocktail that's full of antioxidants while you're sitting by the pool. I love this. We're sitting by the bay, sitting watching the clams bay. do their work. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been hard. It's been a struggle putting this together. Wow. Well, it's yeah, a labor right. of love, and if you say that it's one of your favorites, I know that is a very big accolade because so many issues are um, phenomenal. You just keep chopping yourself. It's great. And you know, I just have to thank my contributors, my photographers. We've just got an exceptional team right oh. now. So I'm very proud of everybody. All right. Like well, you will want to <laughs> keep an eye out for the new issue of Edible Sarasota. It is is free. You can find the publication. It'll be out next week. And to find where you can pick it up, go to ediblesarasota.com.